Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. Today is September the 20th. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. In fact, kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today we're going to do the same thing. We are in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26. The high priest questioned Jesus. What did Jesus say that made the high priest so angry? Let's read about it now. Matthew 26. Then the people who had arrested Jesus led him to the home of Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of religious law and the elders had gathered. Meanwhile, Peter followed him at a distance and came to the high priest's courtyard. He went in and sat with the guards and waited to see how it would all end. Inside, the leading priests and the entire high council were trying to find witnesses who would lie about Jesus so they could put him to death. But even though they found many who agreed to give false witness, they could not use anyone's testimony. Finally, two men came forward who declared, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Well, aren't you going to answer these charges? What do you have to say for yourself? But Jesus remained silent. Then the high priest said to him, I demand in the name of the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus replied, You have said it. And in the future you will see the Son of Man seated in the place of power at God's right hand and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothing to show his horror and said, Blasphemy! Why do we need other witnesses? You've all heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? Guilty, they shouted. He deserves to die. Then they began to spit in Jesus' face and beat him with their fists. And some slapped him, jeering, Prophesy to us, you Messiah. Who hit you that time? Wow. Jesus said that he was the Son of God. But they refused to believe him. And Jesus, the Son of God, He came to die for those people, the ones who refused to believe Him, the ones who slapped Him across the face and spit on Him and struck Him with their fists and mocked Him. He came to die for the sins of the whole world, even those sins right there. Jesus came to meet us when we were our worst. Even as we were preparing to put him on a cross, Jesus is still loving us. And he's going to offer himself for us. So we all might be freed from the lies that cause us to behave like this. And when Jesus died on the cross, He accomplished what he set out to do. He freed us, making it possible for us to live lives with him, with God, and to be changed from the inside out. And that, my friend, is good news. Well, hey, we've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing. Lord willing and the creek don't rise, your brother Hunter plans on being here. Until that time, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength and let us always remember this, that you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye.